Not when we're running the MS defense, Mr. President. Which we wouldn't have been doing if... If what, sir? Nothing. Sir. You outed me, John. And the only way you're going to win is if I'm on the ticket. Josh? I've already started the call. 535 okay, congressmen and senators, you've got a call. You're going to need a posse. Click. Smile, though your heart is aching. Smile, even though it's breaking. I didn't really follow that. What the fuck? Did you say offer me a job? Yes. Associate White House Counsel. You owe $400. This ain't all the federal government money. And you don't even need a stamp. Hand it over. There's a mistake. Whatever, hand it over. There's no way I owe money. Yeah, yeah. That's not quite how we say it. Can I sit down there, please? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Good evening, Mr. President. You need me? Yes, sir. Let's go inside. Milo, go. Would you help Mr. Money. Young find his pockets? I'm fine. fine. There's been a mistake. Advance, they might save it. It wasn't advanced. Did you spend it? I paid my visa bill. We would have preferred if you ate in a restaurant or traveled. Me too. Well, in any event. Play down, call what? me on. Oh, what are you collecting? Neil. He used the rebate to pay off his visa bill. It wasn't a rebate, it was an advance. A trip Just to Banana Republic would have killed you. Please take your seats. Josh. Hey, Danny. You're not going to do this. Do the briefing? You're not going to do this. I talk to reporters all the time. You really don't want to do this. Let me tell you something, me compadre. You guys have been coddled. I'm not your girlfriend. I'm not your camp counselor, and I'm not your sixth grade teacher you had a crush on. I'm a graduate of Harvard and Yale, and I believe that my powers of debate can rise to meet the Socratic wonder that is the White House press corps. Don't say I didn't, say oh, I didn't warn ya. Josh. <laughs> Mike. When was the last time the president had a cigarette? Mike, you sure you want your one question to be that stupid? It's not a oh stupid question, Josh. If the president's going to continue to be so adamantly anti-tobacco, why is it unreasonable to ask if he's a smoker? The president quit smoking years ago. He bummed a cigarette for me on Air Force One two days ago. We just blow the smoke. Hey, yeah. Annie. Josh, economists worry the continuing drop in unemployment will create increased pressure on wages, uh, in effect driving them up. Is the president worried that this could lead to a resurgence of inflation? Let me emphasize the president is pleased that unemployment has dropped another 0.5%. As a result, I'm sure we all join the president in his joy. Do everything in his power to maintain the robust economy that has created millions of new jobs, improved productivity, and kept a lid on inflation. But he has no plan to address inflation specifically? 24 PhDs on the Council of Economic Advisors, Katie, they have a plan to fight inflation. Is the reason you won't tell us about it that it's a secret? Yeah, Danny, we have a secret inflation plan. Don't say I didn't, say I didn't warn ya.